So my next kind of experiment is to take this old computer that you've seen before and turn it into a little home server kind of like thing. Oh uh, no, I'm the actual Windows, this is Windows Server 2011 R2, it was released in 2009 and essentially is the server version of Windows 7. They have a new version which looks exactly like Windows 8, yes it has that horrible Metro interface, but it's the older version of probably going to be supporting this till 2025. I don't have a license I bought for it, but they have a 180 di day twi trial which should be enough to mess with. So I'm gonna get back to you once I got this thing installed. So now I got it installed and with a password, this is the default screen for Windows Server. And you can see it looks quite similar to Windows 7 if you've ever used that OS. And you can see I got my local disk, this is fresh install, nothing on it really. See I have one CPU core, yeah this computer is kinda slow. I can go in here, I'm gonna go file sharing this here is probably like the only, I'm going to zoom and focus a little bit more now. This is probably the only thing that you aren't used to. This is these two here. This is the server manager and um, Windows PowerShell. If you ever used Windows Home Server, like both versions or almost like this. So this lets you go in here and go into roles. And you can say add roles pretty easily. Like if you add all the servers that you want here, I mean, so there's quite a bit more. I'll have another chunk and just a bit. It. Okay, now so I finish all installs. So this is actually right now the um, remote desktop on my laptop. You can see it. I'm running my Minecraft server up here. I'm using it as a data server. So if I go onto my C drive, you can see these are my backups here. Oh, it's an untitled photo. But you see here, here are my backups of my main desktop. So that's about it. It's running pretty fine. I can actually, I've been running Minecraft server with three people on it with like no lag. Other than that, I'll go now take a look at the hardware, so. So right now I'm a little bit closer in here. I have a fan on the hard drive to keep it cool so it doesn't overheat and I have a fan right here. Mainly to get some heat on the chipset right here, which runs really hot. I've held the fan on here better, I'm running it at five volts so it's quiet. See here's the LAN adapter, here it's a little bit closer, nothing else is plugged in. And I mean, I'll put my camera up next to it. It's pretty quiet, so, I mean, it's not like a silent system, but it's definitely tolerable to be in a room with it. So, that was my update on my little server project.